Alright, hi guys! Welcome back to 1980s mode, the playthrough where I kill every rival using a weapon. So last time we killed Chugusa with the necklace, and it was way more difficult than I needed it to- than I, I made it way more difficult than it needed to be, is what I meant to say. But that is nothing compared to the difficulty of what's about to come up. Because we are going to kill Sonika with the weapon this time. And uh, oh boy, is it gonna be a doozy. Um, I've got a plan for this. Uh, I had a very complicated and very foolproof plan at first, but it turns out it, I couldn't actually do it in this playthrough. So, um, and I'll tell you what it was later, but that means that this time I have a very simple but very reckless plan instead. It's kind of um, similar to how I killed Taiko. So, let's go, baby! Okay, I don't need to bring any of that with me. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh man. Lord have mercy. Uh, I'll tell you the original method I was going to use. I think it's a very good method, and I would have used it earlier on someone else if I hadn't thought I was going to use it for Sonico. I was going to leave her a note that said, meet me about the evil photographer at 8 a.m. Because at 8 a.m., everybody goes to class, so she would have st stood there waiting for me, and everyone... Hold on. It always loads in at the most inopportune times. Anyway, she would have been standing there by herself waiting for me at 8 a.m. while all her friends went to class, and she, all her followers would have left. So it would have been perfect, except that in order to make her go look at a note in her locker, I have to befriend her. And I can do that, but I either have to look suspicious carrying around a wastebasket, or I have to join the light music club to get an instrument case. Because remember, I chose that setting in the beginning that I didn't want the instrument case handed to me? So, instead of leaving her the note and luring her out that way, instead of going through all that trouble, I'm just gonna get her alone in another, much more dangerous way. But, um, I think we can still do it, even if it takes me a couple tries. Um, uh, if you want to use the note method, I didn't use it in this playthrough because I assumed I was gonna use it for Sonico, I forgot how her befriending thing goes down. But if you want to use it for another rival, I highly recommend it, I think it's a good method, just Leave them a note to meet about their dark secret, stay to meet them on the rooftop or outside at 8 a.m. Everybody will be going to class, especially on the rooftop, because nobody hangs out in there naturally anyway. So if you go to the rooftop at 8 a.m., nobody's going to be around, all their followers are going to leave. It'd probably be a good way to kill Komako or Chigusa. Anyway, let's get into my Sonico uh, method. Which is nowhere near as complicated as befriending her would have been, to be honest. It's actually a quite an easy method, but in the same way as Taiko was easy. It's risky. It's simple, but risky. Anyway, I don't want to join the light music club, so this is what I'm doing. But don't worry, it's a different method from all the other people. I'm not reusing methods yet. I will need this, though. I am kicking myself for not using that note method earlier, but I assumed I was going to use it on Sonico because I didn't think it through. <laughs> but uh, maybe I'll use it some other time. Maybe in custom mode, or 2020x mode, whatever, 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 whatever. Did I use it for Asana? I don't know. It doesn't matter. If you want to use it, go ahead. I'm sorry that I didn't. I really wanted to, but uh, I made a mistake. Miscalculation. Anyway, whatever. The method we're using to kill Sonico is still different from everything we've done, so it's still something new. I need to get into the cultural room, because I need to get the weapon. Hey, you don't see nothing. Stop looking. Okay, here we go. Okay, you may come in now. If you're gonna. No, they don't. Okay, cool. Where is the guy? Where's Reichi? Just making sure he's not gonna bust me as soon as I pick it up, because that's just my luck. Okay. Oh, he's way down there. We're good. I'm gonna kill Sonico with the mace! Because, and I'm gonna pause so I don't waste any time. Because she is hard, she's cold, she's steely, she's emotionless, and she's ferocious, and she's strong. You know, I think that fits her pretty well. I wanted to use the crowbar because she has a criminal past, but unfortunately I can't get one. Because since I befriended the delinquents, I can't fight them anymore, so I can't grab it from them. And it doesn't- you can't buy it from the hardware store, it doesn't work yet. So I kind of screwed myself over there, but I think the mace fits her pretty well as also, and it's arguably a more difficult weapon than the crowbar because it's just as uh, obvious and it's bloodier. So you're not missing anything. 
let's get this to a certain place where she will be eventually and also I will be eventually you don't see nothing 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 no 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 this ain't the place hey buddy what's up hello friends you know what why don't I just leave that there and I'll come back I'll come back it's okay oh boy I'm also gonna pick up a distraction just in case you never know when you might need one because it's I told you it's gonna be a pretty reckless plan similar to how Taiko was so you never know when you might need people to stop walking in her direction okay I need something and I can't remember what it was so guess who's grabbing every single chemical in this room me I am Okay, is that everything? Did I grab it all? Can I take that eye? What is this? Oh! It's a Bunsen burner. I can just take that. Okay, and there we go. I don't know what all of these do, but I need them. Hold on. Why did I leave? Aha! Headache medicine! Similar to Chigusa. We are going to be making um, a headache poison for Sonoko, put it in her bento. She'll eat it at lunch and run to the nurse's office. Unsimilar to Chigusa, her, uh, Sonoko's followers don't go away just because she has a headache. But, unlike Chigusa, her followers don't run when she does. So Chigusa's followers ran after her. When she ran, they ran. Sonoko, hers walk when she runs. So I will have a split second to uh, smack her in the back of the head with a mace before her followers come and kill me. That's also why I grabbed that box cutter. I'm hoping it can buy me a couple more minutes. All right, here she comes. She's already put her book bag away, so I should be able to just go through here. And she can't pepper spray me. <laughs> where's, the, where's the lady? Okay. She can't pepper spray me when she has a headache, which is great. Because, um, even the, the note strategy, that was something I was worried about. How am I going to sneak up behind her when I give her a note? When she She's just going to pepper spray me in the face. In the face. How am I going to sneak up on, on her with a mace? And this way, it's easy. Because when she has a headache, she's not on alert. If I left her the note, I would she'd be by herself. But I would still have the problem of needing to sneak up on her while, she, while holding a mace. And she can pepper spray me. Hope that made sense. I've got a lot going on, a lot that I'm trying to do at once, so explaining my very complicated plans for this very complicated rival is quite difficult, as you can imagine. Okay. Now I just need to avoid... Oh, can I not give Senpai his presents? I bought a bunch of presents for Senpai, I bet I can't give them to him now. Because it's 717 instead of 710. Bleh. Let's check. I can! So what was up with that one day? I don't know. Whatever. Senpai's already obsessed with me. I just don't want to take a, take a chance on his affection meter getting too low. Or going backwards. Okay. Need to avoid that camera. Easy. And place this. right here so that that chair cannot see me nope she can't see me so if I were to grab this mace and say for instance bonk somebody who's running down the stairs she wouldn't see it and I will place the box cutter right here that's too close but if I place it right here she'll see it But if I kill her right there, I'll be in front of the camera. So I'm just gonna have to place the box cutter like right here and hope that it distracts him and kill her while she's coming around this corner. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight, man. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. But let's go see if we can do it. If not, I can just restart and figure something else out. Not a problem. Oh boy, I'm nervous. Senpai likes me a lot. Okay, that startled me. 
Whew, I am like 90% convinced that I'm not going to get away with this the first time. Actually, instead of watching her, I should probably go sit that box cutter down now that everyone's in their correct spots. Or almost. No, nope, these guys are just wandering. Get where you're going, hurry up. Hurry up and get where you're going. All of y'all, come on. Okay. Aside from her, it doesn't look like anyone else is coming. I don't see anyone else. Where's Sonika? Where'd she go? Oh, she's sitting right by Senpai. Okay. She started. I'm gonna put this down. <sighs> okay. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. I'm gonna keep this on slow-mo because I need all the time I can get. You're just gonna sit here and wait because I am terrified. But I don't see anyone else walking this way. They're all going outside and her followers are all gonna be like way behind her. So I'm gonna keep this going though and keep an eye on everybody. I see her sleuth friends, they're moving over there but it doesn't look like anyone is actually following her. So here we go. Her, fr her followers are coming. But they're not here yet. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! I'm not suspicious right now, but oh my god, still. <laughs> oh my god, how did I do it? How did I do it? How did I do it and have time to spare? Oh my god! And all that because I thought befriending her was too complicated and would take too long. And I was right, this is way easier. I mean, it's nerve-wracking, but seriously, you have to do way less and it's way quicker than actually just than just befriending her. Oh my god, I can't believe I got away with that. Holy crap! Oh my god, oh my god. I'll go laugh in a minute. Hoo -hoo -hoo! <coughs> Pardon me, those are nervous coughs. The fuck is this? What am I standing next to? Cooking club where sweet meets savory. That's the freakiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I can't believe it. More people have to be coming to see her, right? Oh my god, there's a guy right there. I cannot believe I got away with that. I am astonished. Oh my god. I, I tried to bash her with it. I tried to kill her from the front. But um, as you can see, I didn't really have a lot of time to maneuver. And I am not doing it again, so don't ask. <laughs> you get what you get. I'm sorry she didn't bleed. I wanted her to bleed too. It would have been fun. I hate Sonico and she's so frustrating, so it would have been nice to make her all bloody, but you get what you get. <laughs> Maybe during the Alphabet Killer Challenge, when she's like one of the last people left alive, I'll get her. Because I do the Alphabet ch Killer Challenge and I activate all the rivals on day one, because I like to kill them. They are fun. Anyways, anyone else? Dude, why is that guy just standing there? Can I get him to come over? <laughs> I'm not suspicious, but I'm still scared of the camera. There we go. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go laugh as soon as the camera gets out of the way. <laughs> I'm assuming that the camera doesn't find me suspicious at 90% sanity because it doesn't say that I'm, like, visibly insane or anything like that. 
But we'll find out. I mean, I might have to do it again. Oh my god, look at her. I cannot believe I did that. That was so split second. Lordy. <laughs> I had absolutely no time. And I don't need to wash my weapon because I stealth killed her. I was really worried about that. But I still had enough time to grab my bucket and leave. I would have had enough time to grab it. Oh my god, I can't believe. Nobody coming? Okay, I want to look at her again. Holy crap. Okay, okay, okay. Whew! I'm gonna pass time. I'm gonna get in another spot and pass time. Because I'm so freaking nervous. Oh my god. I cannot believe I did that. Would have been so much... Um... Not... Not easier, but... Oh! More people found her. I didn't know they were coming. Cool. Here comes more. Oh, they're not coming. I didn't know those guys were coming up or I would have waited for them. How long does it take you to find the body? You're not coming up here. Okay. Alright, whatever. Um, what was I saying? I, I could have just befriended Sonico and lured her out with a note, but it still would have been just as nerve-wracking and a hell of a lot more complicated because even if... I had Sonico completely alone, I'd have to sneak up on her. At least this way I didn't have to worry about her pepper spraying me. So, I'd recommend it this way, to be honest. Oh, here come more people. How oh, nice. I'm not near body, so I'm not suspicious. <laughs> All of her stupid little followers. They didn't save you, did they, Sonico? Die, die, die! God, that was so nerve-wracking. I know I've said it over and over, but it's because my hands are still shaking. <sighs> Very similar to how I killed Taiko, but I did not want to go through the whole hullabaloo of befriending Sonico. She's so tedious. Everything to do with her is tedious. This is so much better. And it's more fun because it's exciting. All right, police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Sonico Sakanoe. Police are unable to locate any murder weapons. They can't pin me to any crimes. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god! This is the end! This is the end of the game! We did it! Oh my god! We did it, boys! We are done! This is it! This is the end! Okay, I'm not even gonna do anything. Senpai already loves me and I have tons of, tons of cash, so I'm literally just gonna keep skipping. I will be kicked out of the club I joined. I don't care. I'm, I don't need to be in the club anymore. The game is over. The past 11 weeks have challenged me in every way possible. Whew. But despite everything, I've still managed to defeat every one of my adversaries. And boy howdy was it a scream. These Man, that was fun. experiences have made me stronger, braver. Oh, it was difficult, but very fun. I can't believe it. We did so we defeated Sonico, and now it's over. I think I finally found the courage to talk to him, to tell him how I feel. When I confess my feelings to him, it has to be special. It has to be perfect. Are you allowed to go to school on Saturdays? I really think that this whole cutscene should take place on Friday. Because the myth about the cherry tree is on Friday, and I don't even know if they are allowed to come to school on Saturdays. And good luck getting Jokichi to come to school on a Saturday. I don't believe in the myth about the cherry tree behind the school, but I can't think of any place more appropriate for my confession. Today. I'm going to tell him today. Actually, Ryoba, you're totally getting arrested today because we just killed ten people and there's no way we're getting away with it. Senpai, please accept my feelings. Oh boy, we are getting so arrested. It's gonna be so funny. I'm ready. I can't wait to see the bad ending, honestly. Let's do it. It'll be hilarious. Come on, come on. I cannot believe it's already over. It did not take me very long to kill everybody with weapons. It's happening. No, it's not. It's really happening. Today is the day. The day I finally tell him how I feel. It's taken so long, but now I'm ready. 
I'm ready to stop right there. <laughs> Here we go. You killed so That's many people, me. girl. You were under arrest on suspicion of the murder of Sumire Satozaki 11 weeks ago. And your connection to at least one other person's death. Wait, at please. least one. That was a mistake. I had nothing to do with. Oh, no. You're not going to sweet talk your way out of this one. Your innocent schoolgirl act won't save you this time. What evidence do you even have? I've been questioning your classmates over the past couple of months. They've noticed a pattern in your behavior. That boy over there. The one under the tree. You've shown a keen interest in any girl who developed feelings for him. And every single one of those girls is dead now. No hate, What's man, but can you talk faster, off? please? You're eliminating any girl who tries to take that boy away from you. And Sumire was your first victim. No, I would never hurt anyone. I swear, I'm innocent. You have to believe me. Save it for the judge. Oh, this is gonna be so funny, but also infuriating because I hate the journalist and I just know he's gonna be all smug about it when I lose. Okay, here we go. Let's see how bad this turns out. On April 1st, Ryoba Aishi put a note into the locker of Sumire Saitozaki. Oh, I have to press After next. After <laughs> reading this note, Sumire went to the East 3rd floor girls' restroom. That was the last time anyone ever saw Sumire. After she was reported missing, police investigated Akademi for clue. In the East Third Floor girls' restroom, they found some of Sumire's blood. She was just on her period, man. Get over Shortly it. Shortly before Sumire went missing, Ryoba Aishi was spotted carrying a knife and walking in the direction of the East Third Floor girls' restroom. Later, she was seen carrying a large garbage bag towards the school incinerator. All of this information came from Ui Tunisu, a student at Akademi who was interviewed by the police the day after Sumire's disappearance. It's obvious what happened to Sumire. Ryoba Aishi killed her in the bathroom with a knife, stuffed her in a garbage bag, and carried her to the incinerator, where she burned all of the evidence. Mm -hmm. Do you deny any of this, Ryoba Aishi? Girl, just go for a plea deal at this point. We killed ten people. Ain't no way we're getting away with it. I did not kill Sumire Saitozaki. It's true that I put a note in her locker and spoke with her in the bathroom, but I simply wanted to discuss a personal matter with her. Nothing more. What about the knife? I noticed that one of the knives in the home economics room was missing. It turned out that someone had brought the knife to the cooking club by mistake. So, I simply took it from the cooking club and put it back in its rightful place. And the garbage bag. How do you explain that? I love my school. I can't stand to see trash and garbage piling up everywhere. I do my part to keep the school clean, just like everyone else does. <laughs> you always have a convenient explanation for everything, don't you? Yeah, did you think she was just gonna fold and admit it immediately? You're so entitled, you're not that good of a detective. Do you really think anyone in this courtroom is going to believe your obvious lies? <sighs> keep that up and I'll hold Mr. you in contempt of court. There are a number of problems with your theory. First of all, you're accusing me of murder. But you don't actually have any proof that Sumire is dead. She is still considered missing, after all. I think she simply ran away because of the stress of studying at an elite school. I pray that she is alive and well and will return to us one day. You think I killed Sumire because of three facts. I spoke to her. I held a knife and I burned some trash. However, none of these things are grounds for suspicion. Every day at school, dozens of students talk to each other, touch objects that could be used as weapons, and carry garbage bags to the incinerator. There was nothing unusual or suspicious about my behavior. You know, I think I finally figured out what's going on here. Mr. Journalist. Ryoba, now's not the best time to bring up Sonoko, probably. Your apprentice, Sonoko Sakanoe, became a celebrity after she stopped a killer. You're desperate to pin a crime on me because you want to be a celebrity, too. The only reason that any of us are in this courtroom today is because you're deeply insecure that your apprentice has accomplished more than you. 
I mean, that's not the reason, but I also think she has a point. Order! Order in the court! The journalist strikes me as a deeply insecure person. <laughs> it's true that there is no smoking gun evidence linking you directly to a murder. However, with that said... Oh boy! <laughs> Over the past 11 years. <laughs> Here we weeks, go! I killed so many people! You have demonstrated behavior that is suspicious, if not outright incriminating. Your classmates have testified that you've been stalking a certain boy at school. I actually have not. I've barely paid any attention to him. I've been too busy killing people. Following him when he goes shopping. Following him when he walks home. Okay, well I have no control over that. That's Ryoba's fault. By all accounts, you're absolutely obsessed with this boy. Furthermore, Every time a girl begins to show signs of interest in him, something always happens that removes the girl from his life. Oof. You can't possibly expect anyone to believe that these facts are mere coincidence. Clearly, you are sabotaging the boy's love life in order to keep him single. And who else had a crush on that boy? That's right. Sumire Saitozaki. I mean, for all this trouble, Ryoba should have just kidnapped Jokichi from the beginning. You've been eliminating every girl who comes between you and that boy. Would have saved us 11 weeks. And Sumire was your first victim. Yes, and we're all about to know that. Order! I said order! Enough conjecture. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's go over the facts. Here we go. Kageyo Wakazumi was killed with a weapon. The police know that she was murdered, but don't know who killed her. Moeko Rakuyono was killed with a weapon. The police know that she was murdered, but don't know who killed her. Honami Hodoshima was killed with a weapon. The police know she was murdered, but don't know who killed her. Oh my god, the guilty! The guilty verdict! Sumiko Tachibana was killed with a weapon. The police know that she was murdered, but don't know who killed her. Ritsuko Chikanari was killed with a weapon. The police know she was murdered, but don't know who killed her. Aido Yashi was killed with a weapon. The police know she was murdered, but don't know who killed her. Teiko was killed with a weapon. Oh boy. Komako was killed with a weapon. Chigoso was killed with a weapon. Sonako was killed with a weapon. <laughs> we are so screwed. Oh my god, look how guilty we are. After Samiri's disappearance, the police were called to Academia a total of 10 times. The police discovered a total of 10 corpses. Ryoba made 75 friends. Ryoba's reputation at school is 100. Ryoba's classmates witched her doing something suspicious zero times, carrying weapons zero times, walking in bloodstained clothes zero times. Zero students testified that they witnessed her commit murder. Am Taking I gonna- Taking all of the facts into consideration. Oh my god. It is clear, beyond any shadow of a doubt. Am I gonna get away with this? That Ryoba Aishi <laughs> is innocent of all charges. <laughs> got away with it. Holy crap. Now how am I going to get an F? I was kind of banking on this playthrough to get me that ending. <laughs> we'll have to do something else. Something really stupid. A murderous schoolgirl who kills in the name of love. It was a novel concept. Newspapers realized it would get sales. TV stations realized it would boost ratings. It didn't take long for the news of my murder trial to spread across the entire nation. I've never seen an event get that much coverage before. It was a real media circus, and now, everyone in the country knows my name and face. <laughs> Honey, you should just be glad you got away with it. I still can't believe. I am just absolutely floored Even that we worse, didn't get arrested. They all know how I feel about my senpai. Oh, this is my worst nightmare. I didn't want him to learn about me like this. I wanted our first meeting to be special. Perfect. Exactly like in my dreams. But now, that can never happen. He'll never be able to see me as a cute underclassman who has a crush on him. He'll only be able to see me as that girl who was accused of murder on national TV. Yeah, I mean, you did kill ten people. If I confess my love to him now, I doubt he'll want anything to do with me. 
even though I was declared innocent, there will always be doubts in his mind. I, come on, you killed ten people, so in his mind, ten rivals killed, ten girls killed, and he doesn't know who, they, who killed them and it was never solved? Yeah, there's gonna be doubts. That stupid journalist ruined absolutely everything. There's nothing I want more than to rip his heart out and shove it down his throat. But spilling any blood right now would only attract more attention. There are too many eyes on me right now. I have to lay low for a while. Revenge isn't an option at this point in time. But I'll never forget what that man did. I hope she gets to kill him later. That would be very satisfying. I won't be able to have a romantic confession underneath a cherry tree. But this isn't over yet. I still have one option remaining. My last resort. Really, she should have just done this from the beginning. It's unfortunate that things turned out like this. But I was left with no other choice. I would have been crushed if he rejected me. So, I had to take away the option. Our relationship might be awkward for a little while. But we'll get through it together. After all... I know all of his likes and dislikes. <laughs> I'm sure he'll warm up to me soon. <sighs> Stockholm Syndrome! There's a part of me that wonders, what was the point of all the hard work I just did if I was just going to kidnap him in the end? But, despite the way things turned out, I don't think the past eleven weeks were a waste at all. I learned so many new things and gained so many new skills. I'm sure I'll be able to find a way to put all of my knowledge and talents to good use. And, one day, I can pass down everything I know to my son or daughter. <laughs> There's still so much to look forward to. Oh boy! <laughs> Okay, I don't need the end credits. Isn't there another cutscene? No, that's it? Where's the cut- when do I get the cutscene where- where he goes missing, Psycho steals him, and Ryoba freaks out and drops her salad? I remember that! Where is that? How do I get that? It's been months since I played, I don't remember anything. Anyway- Oh my god, holy crap! That's it! That's the end of the playthrough! Uh, that's- I killed every single rival with the weapon, with the different weapon, and I got away with it. I cannot believe- I am absolutely floored that I actually got away with it. I was expecting 100%. I was aiming to get arrested this time, because I do want to see all the different endings. I want to see what happens when Ryoba fails. And I thought that this, for sure, was going to be the playthrough. But, nope, I guess not. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to play real stupid to get caught actually, because this tells me- I mean, I just left people laying around dead. This tells me that, um, I'm gonna need to get seen by people and be really sloppy in order to actually get caught, which I might have to do because I want to see all the endings, but wow, I cannot believe we got a B! We didn't even get a D! We got a B! We did pretty good! <laughs> Holy crap, that was so much better than I expected. Um, well, all right. That was really, really fun. I loved that. That was such a good time. It was very exciting. I loved getting able to um, try and puzzle out how to kill all the rivals and which weapon to use and just the methodology behind it. And I didn't have to just do the same thing over and over and over. Like, when you reject someone or expel someone or befriend someone, it's kind of just repetitive. But this one, this one was always off the cuff, man. It was always fresh and very exciting. Always a lot of stakes. Very, very exciting. Um, it was very incredibly fun. I loved it. I had a blast. I think this is... I like this one almost as much as I like the canon endings playthrough. Uh, and it was also way easier than I expected. I know the weapon murder is rated as, like, the hardest one. So, when you get the... I don't know, when you choose your murder method, it's like... Killing them with a weapon is so much harder than anything else. But I didn't think it was that difficult. Honestly, I would rate it as less difficult than burning them to death without getting caught or befriending them. That was pretty hard. So yeah, it was pretty- I was surprised at how easy it was. I thought it would be pretty impossible with Sonico and, and um, Keiko and 
Komako and Shigusa, but I killed Sonako my first try. <laughs> so, wow. It was very e much easier to kill them with a weapon than I thought, and very fun. Very, very fun. So, I guess that's it. That's all for this playthrough. I'm definitely going to move on to the next method uh, later, which is because our next rival is Kaguya, my next method will be Rejection, which will be a nice, relaxing playthrough, and we'll get to see a lot more dialogue between Senpai and the girls, which is always fun, because I like, you know, seeing what the rivals have to say and stuff. So that'll be a change of pace, but still really fun. I look forward to it. Anyway, I will see you guys then. Goodbye!